During this section, we're going to take a look at working with Microsoft Excel templates, both built-in templates that come with your copy of Microsoft Excel and the ability that Excel gives us to create our own custom templates. So first, before we get into those two scenarios, let's take a look at really what a template is all about. So open in front of you, I've still got our example file, our monthly budget. Imagine this, I've got currently, I've got three months in here. This could have a single month. This could have all 12 months within the year, whatever it is. Let's say it's, it's got 12 months. I've created this spreadsheet for the entire year. Now the next year runs around 2020, 2021, 2022, and so on. And I want to be able to use the same setup. I don't want to have to recreate the entire thing from scratch every time I get a new year that rolls around, right? So instead of recreating, I could save this as a template and then reuse the structure. Imagine opening up a brand new Excel workbook and it already has the basic structure. It's already got column headers, like the month and years. It's already got the bill values in there. It's already got all the formatting. The chart is already created. The only thing that it's missing is the data for that current year. So just to demonstrate here, I'm gonna select C5 to E9, and I'm gonna hit my delete key. I'm just gonna wipe out those numbers. Now, this could be the start of a template. It's already got the basic structure done for me, right? Maybe I'll modify a few things, like rather than having to say 2019, I put like year up there, just the word year, uh, and then users can replace that when they get into the document. Uh, my chart is empty. I've still got my smart art. I could wipe out the text inside of there and just say, fill in with next year's objectives or whatever you want to put in there. But this could easily be a template that I could then reuse every year. Formulas are already created. Formatting's already done. The really the heavy lifting's done. All the user has to do is fill in the amounts for each bill for each month. Done. Save as, save it under a new name, and you're good to go. So that's the idea of a template. Basic structure is complete for you. You just fill in the particulars for that month, that week, that year, whatever your data consists of. So let's take a look at the two approaches. You can use built-in templates that Microsoft has already supplied for us. There's loads of them. And we'll take a look at creating our own custom template based off of our budget. So I'm going to hit Control Z just to undo that. You can also use the button up here at the top of the screen to be able to undo and get my numbers back. But we'll come back to this file here in a little bit. Let's take a look at using the built-in templates that Excel contains.